Hello ladies and gents, another video brought to you by Hood and today I'll be doing a product review on Wakushi's second largest Outworld. I mean seriously, if this is the second largest Outworld, the, the largest must be the size of a freaking house because this thing is huge. Now this is a bit of a prelude to the weekend video because I'm going to actually connect this up at the weekend to my Solenopsis Geminata. Wakushi didn't want me to connect them to them straight away but I'm risking it for a biscuit. But let's not dilly-dally about, let's get straight to it. Now the package comes like this, all wrapped up with Fragile in it. There was actually Fragile written on the box, but classic, Royal Mail, didn't pay any attention to that, and I think they drop kicked it through the window a couple of times because the box had some tape on it. I did take a picture, but I couldn't find it full of no money. But I had some tape on it to say that it was open, so they, they obviously didn't look after it. Now, the package, you say, wasn't massively damage as it were the items weren't but you will notice a bit late when I put it together that there is some broken bits on it but luckily enough for me it's more cosmetic and it is anything else to affect the integrity of this outworld and as you well know I am looking at using it for my Solenopsis so I need it to be a good tight fit and as with all products that we get that are acrylic they've got this film on it protective film to stop it getting scratched and stuff like that it is standard for every every retailer so you know to keep it on obviously to protect the acrylic but what i noticed with this it, it, when you take it off and stuff it does produce a lot of static electricity so before you think about putting ants in this when you put it together give it a wash out with a wet cloth and it should take all the static away so we don't need to worry about shocking and killing your ants when you do finally venture into this massive out world now once I've taken all the film off, I get the bags of bits together, as you can see from the shaky video, um, and you'll see that I've got all the bits and bobs in there. Now these are the frames for the lids, and I'll talk a bit more about them going forward. Then you've got, these are the central supports that go inside the outworld to stop the acrylic warping with the heat, if you're heating it, so it keeps it nice and flat and level. And there's just a bag of bolts and stuff like that. Now, if we take these, these, like I said, these are the lids that will fit into the top of it. And as always, when I've got a big project like this, I'll start with the smaller stuff like this, like, like this, like this. How many times can I say like this for, eh, guys? <laughs> so I'll get the smaller parts and put them together first, and then I can put them aside, and it just reduces what I've got to work with, which is handy. But let's not be under any illusion, guys. This outworld, when you're putting it together, isn't like a five minute job. I think that I worked it at a steady pace. Yes, I was watching rubbish on YouTube, I think I was. Um, I think I was watching Jon Snow's Total Kills and Game of Thrones, to be honest. I think I was watching that, geez. Anyway, so it does take a long while to put together. So bear that in mind that when you do this, you are gonna commit a couple of hours to it. It's not an easy thing to put together either. Now I've sped this up, obviously, as you can say by how quickly I'm moving, that this bit's quite important to be honest because in the other Wakushi Outworlds I've noticed that I've got that I've warped the lids on them. Now speaking to Wakushi he's told me that I've done the screws too tight um, and what that's put pressure on the acrylic and it's caused it to warp. So when you guys are putting this together do not over tighten the screws. Yes make sure they're nice and snug but if you over tighten them you're going to put added pressure on it and it could cause it to warp. Since he, Wakushi gave me that advice in my other Outworld and he sent me a replacement which was very kind of him I've not screwed it as tight and I have not had any warping with it. So it does work what he's saying. And I recommend that you guys bear that in mind when you're putting this or any of Wakushi's Outworlds together. Now bearing in mind this didn't come with any instructions so I was very much cuffing it as I went along. But what I did now was I put this blue bit down just so you can see it better. You notice these little blocks, they're the connectors that connect all of the acrylic together. And some have got three holes, some have got two holes. So what I go about doing now is separating them off so I know what I've got. Now the ones that got three holes are for the corners. So they hold the bottom, the side, uh, one side and the corner side together as well. So when you put them together, you need to make sure that you do it properly in the right, uh, right angle as it were, otherwise you'll end up unscrewing it and having to start again. Now one slight negativity towards this as well is that you do run the risk of over threading it when you screw into it. So bear that in mind that when you're dealing with these, yes, make sure it's nice and snug, but if you over tighten it, you'll thread it and you won't get a nice snug tight fit, which isn't good for Solenopsis. If you look into the four corners at these connectors here, 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 and here, I think that's four here's, if not here just in case, I've put the three hold ones so they can connect the side acrylic up. And then for the rest of them, you just need to put the two hold ones, but you need to bear in mind that the when you connect screw them together that the hole is pointing outermost of the acrylic so you can connect it together properly 
And don't be the noob like I did and not realize that there's more connectors that connect to the base than there is to the lid. So make sure when you do connect it together, you do it the white right way round, because obviously I'm a bit of a tool. Now the way that I did it, I connected both the long ends together first. The reason for that is because I've got all the stoppers in place so I can screw on the short ends on relatively easily and quickly. I would recommend you could do that. I'm not saying you couldn't do it the other way, but this is how I did it and it worked for me. Now, whichever way you assemble it, if you do it like I have here or the other way, you need to remember that whenever you put a wall up like this, it is being supported by those connectors. And like I said before, it's very easy to over tighten and thread those connectors. So if you think about it, if it's on the side, you knock it and if you pull it apart by a mistake or whatever, you're going to damage the connectors. So be very mindful and very careful at this stage. And this is the damage I was talking about by Royal Mail. As you can see by the background, I've connected it all up together now, but when I was putting the lid on, uh, I got this damage. Now, lucky for me, it is actually in an insignificant area because this will be covered up by one of the stoppers, so I don't have to worry about the synopsis getting out, but I got lucky. Thank you, Royal Mail. Thank you. And once it's all together, you do get a very tidy looking out world. I like the white base to it, and I like the struts in the middle, but I'll talk about them in a second. Now, I know what you're thinking, this looks massive, how big is it? Well, lengthways on the long, the long axis, it is 40 centimeters long. Along the width, that is 28 centimeters long. And I need to measure it again, because I've forgotten in the course of this video, voicing it, it is 18 centimeters deep. That is no small outworld by anyone's standards. Probably the next most important question is, how much is it gonna cost, Hood? Well, this isn't cheap. It's gonna cost you $79.95, but on the plus side, if you use the promo code ANTSHOOD when you're checking out, you will get 10% off, which is roughly 18 pounds off. Which, when you're spending this kind of money, isn't something to be snubbed at, to be honest. Now, this outworld is tested, but I've run my nail along all the seams, as you can see here, and I can't get my nail in there. And if I can't get my thumbnail in there, I'm probably not the ants I'm probably gonna get out. So I am gonna risk it. Now, I know it's for my dreaded Solenopsis, but I think I'll be safe. But here's another feature that I really like as well. These, tower, these support towers also have hooks in them, so you can put feeding trays on, which I wanna get which I think will be really interesting to actually watch them trail up it to go to the feeding area. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some of those trays, to be honest. But anyway, let's take a look at the Solenopsis. And yes, this is them. As you can see, the Outworld's full. That They need a new, that needs going. But just look how many I've got. Now, I've actually got a new nest for these as well, and I'll be connecting them up this Saturday, well, on the video this Saturday as well. So you'll get to see it. Now, I know people are going to be happy because I'm probably going to get stung, but you can see how many there is and how much they need the extension. And the Outworld as well, to be fair, is it's going to be painful for me, what can I say? Now, I won't lie, guys, I'm actually dreading connecting this all together because I know it's going to hurt and it's going to hurt a lot, but it is what it is and the joys of ant keeping. Anyway, I do want to say a massive super thanks to all the people that support me on Patreon. So as always, these guys make my channel happen. So I need to thank Adrian, Ant Antics, Antona Rock, Antimatter, David D, Kevin R, Paul A, pa Pavance, who's a new supporter, PJ Grant and Wakushi. Thank you guys for your support because you make my videos possible. But anyway, I'll stop talking rubbish. That's it for today then guys. Hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye for now.